Hello, it's David Johnson again. I just wanted to show you a little top tip that will help you mix your very, very lightweight filler powders into the epoxy without them flying away. Uh, very, very useful. You can see here I've got my uh, mixed epoxy and I've got my 406 colloidal silica. So I'm looking at about one to one by volume to achieve peanut butter consistency. So I'm going to mix this together with one of our plastic mixing sticks, which is here. And I'm going to use a technique that I just call chopping in the filler. And that is to say that I just use the mixing stick on edge and just chop the filler in to start with. And this stops it flying around. Once you've chopped it in, you find it then becomes relatively straightforward to mix the filler in with the mixed epoxy. This is quite a small container and really to mix this quantity of epoxy up I'd, ideally I'd want a bigger container. But you can see here that actually this is starting to blend in and no fly away dust. Once it's soaked in, I can then really start to blend the two together. And you can see quite quickly I can actually blend this quite easily and readily. Quite quickly. I've achieved my peanut butter consistency without too much powder flying away into the atmosphere. Thanks for watching. Bye.